Hey, Jonathan here at Topsaw. Today I was going to go over how to start a generator. A couple of things to do before you start. This is a small little 1400 watt generator. So volts times amps equals watts. So if you have a 120 volts, a 10 amp um, appliance, this would be about the maximum it could run. So this will certainly run a refrigerator or something like that. A refrigerator and a few outlets to charge phones. So first thing, you got to be far away from any structure. It's going to put off carbon monoxide, so never indoors. It always has to be outdoors. Before you start, you want to check the oil. It has plenty of oil. They all have a low oil shutoff valve, so that's a good thing to check. And then you want to gas it up. It's always four-stroke gas. No, nothing gets mixed in. The outdoor power equipment is not going to get moved, so it truly really doesn't need two-stroke. So no mix in the gas. Move the gas can far away. This has an automatic, here's a kill switch, so the kill switch is on. So you don't have to check the kill switch, but you always gotta check the kill switch. In this case, you don't need to because it, it's a push button instead of a lever. And then on this side over here, you gotta turn the choke on. So the choke's on for the first pull. And if there's a fuel valve, you have to turn that on. This does not have a fuel valve, but the choke is on, first pull. As soon as it pops, turn the choke on. And then the killer over there, you look at. back out. Now that it's warm, it'll start on the first pop. No choke once it's warm. Let's, uh, let's go over to a different generator. So this is a Predator 9000 watt generator and I think it runs at 7000 watts running time. So this is maybe four or five times larger than that generator over there. So this could probably run about six circuits on the panel. Um, it could even run the AC unit. So this has a battery, it's an electric start. It also has a kill switch right here. I've gassed it up. It's outside five foot from anything else, far from any structure, has to be outside. And then before I start this thing up, even with an electric start, I come over here, have to turn the fuel on. So the fuel gets turned on, the choke gets turned on if the battery were dead, it has a pull start the same way. But this has an electric start. So when I hit start, uh, it's going to fire up. After it runs for only a few seconds, I turn the choke off. Uh, I already checked the motor oil on this one. It does have a low oil alert. So we'll fire it up. Running. So it goes on. So this one, you know, battery starts really nice, really helpful, really big generator. Uh, I, I certainly cannot lift this thing up. It's quite a few hundred pounds. I'm all done running it. I turn the fuel off and let it cool down. Okay, so I hope we learned a little bit about generators. A couple key safety things is um, always outside. I know I've said that a lot. There are breakers built in. These little things will pop out if you've overloaded too much electricity on it. Um, if you use old gas, it will not work. It needs to be fresh gas in a gas can. Again, it's four strokes, so no mix. Um, there's a kill switch, and that's about it on these generators. 
Um, if you're new to this channel, think about hitting subscribe, and I thanks for watching, and any comments below would be appreciated. Thank you.